Hello guys, Silver Butterfly is here. Today I'm gonna tell you a very interesting story. Story Veneziana by Valmont. Story Veneziana, olfactive high jewelry. Venice, cradle of the art of perfumery. A city awash in splendor and mystery. Discovered its city in a stage for Story Veneziani by Valmont, a series of five of all factory tales that reveal the myriad facets of the city, once alluring and enigmatic, legendary and constantly reinvented. An experience in connoisseurship, a nod to the lagoon's varied realm of virtuosity. The art of perfumery extolled Murano glass enthroned in Italian leather and all is beginning glory, sensual, carnal, wild. Story Veneziana, a series designed as a collection of olfactive high jewelry, pure essences, faces like gems, long-lasting perfume extracts. And here's five perfumes. I have this all five Sample. I'm gonna tell you my opinion, but so far I want you to have a look at this. This is called a Verdi Airby One, fresh floral, and it's green. See, it's like the same pictures here, but green, and it's like emerald inside. Pontil Saint Elena at daybreak. The morning air is crisp and delicate. She reveals in an empowering sensation of freedom. Verde Herba One uh, captures this moment of grace with rich uh, spring-like bouquet. An introduction of syringa shrouds. The composition is pure and delicate notes. This poet's jasmine, as it aptly called, stands out for warm and floral scents. Papyrus then emerge giving body to the composition in a spicy woody chord. For base note, vanilla absolute takes hold of fragrance with its refined bouquet, kurma and tropical. It brings all exotic freshness to where the herb one. Now, Alessandri T1, aldehyde floral. Le Arsenal, iconic setting for Venice Biennale, a neighborhood of vibrant modernity, L'Arsenal embodied, uh, embodied more than any other spot in Venice, the union of past and present. She lets herself be carried away by time, timeless bouquet, a top nose of bergamot, fresh, tart and fruity, emerged with fierce and lively punch. Perfumer's uh, favorite citrus fruit is green gold of Calabria, elegantly blended with floral notes. It forms a gracefully bond uh, with jasmine, incorporated into composition as an absolute. Sensual and fruity aromas evolved from its slender, wild, white petal. Fresh and potent aldehydes round out the fragrance in a joyous, sparkling surge. Rosso One, Oriental Floral, is probably red. <clears throat> San Francesca della Vigna, the opulence of Venetian palace. Uh, she is uh, imbued with uh, majesty of the setting between strength and splendor, reminiscences of uh, bygone grandeur. Rosso One opens with a spicy top note a pink of berries, exuberant and energizing. They launch the fragrance with vaguely fruity notes. Then comes majestic damask rose, a jewel of opulence in this composition. Queen of all flowers, it offers itself oriental out 
with the force of sacred and forbidden dimension, potent, carnal, masterful. It prolongs and enhances the composition with its smoky and fruity notes. Wow. I'm gonna tell you in a minute. <clears throat> Dorso duro, Gagnia medio one, Ember. Dorsodura wandering through winding alleyways, an encounter of skin and stone. Her silhouette fades into stony labyrinth, her hands carries the walls, her sensual essence charged with the minerally all around her. Cardamom burst forth from sparkling and zesty head notes, cloaking uh, Gagia Medio one in citrusy chords. The spice achieves a radiant union with sandalwood, deepening in gentle, sweet, and milky accents. Ember develops the composition in sensual carnal bass note for a violent and mysterious wake. And this is, I think, the final one. Blue Cobalto One, Gourmal Oriental. Campo San Moise, incarnation of Venetian luxury and uh, pageantly in Perse's uh, purest Baroque style. A fine cobalt blue leather glove tossed on a stone catch her eye. She picks it up and breathes in a provocative and haunted scent. Starting point for this uh, Saturnalia of sensual pleasure, patchouli cloaks the composition in its woody, steamy and earthy aromas. The herb sets up the senses of exuberant surge of cocoa with potent addictive roasted notes seeming to burst from its seeds. Warmth takes hold of the senses, extended by the smoky and balsamic presence of opoponax and uh, to conclude the composition in a spicy note. And uh, this is the end here of this brochure. Look like this all. It's like collection of diamonds, uh, a collection of uh, expensive gems, and you want to have them all. Um, I'm not sure if you can overwhelm. <laughs> I'm very overwhelmed and uh, if I can ex describe them all. Oh, maybe I will describe each of them one by one. Maybe I'll take today the green one and the red. And later I'll show you the, the rest. So I need Verde. Oops. This is Alice. This is Verde. Wow. Wow. It's something green. Um, it's like something very expensive. And you want to buy something which is totally different than from other green perfumes you ever smell. And this is would be it. It's green, but it's such sexy green. I feel some woody notes. A little bit ambery. And something very green, maybe um, leaves or even um, maybe pine tree-ish stuff. That's my first opinion. Next one, I wanted to try uh, Rosso Wow <gasps> It's even better 
see this uh, sample they was written to me individually from a shop assistant they generously gave it to me and I'm happy because I can tell to people what I feel it's kind of modern and remind me of something very very modern nowadays 2019 but I cannot define what um, I smelled it before but maybe in a different twist it's like very you know, Audi woodsy stuff with a sexy twist of course okay I have to put this here not to forget So let's just do it brief, all of it. This is um, Gadia. Wow. <laughs> it's very dark. It's very dark and mysterious and well, maybe um, you can wear it in um, incognito date or something which is uh, nobody should know you on the street but on the other hand you will be covered by mask or the hat and only perfume can reveal who you are I just decided to make this video by myself and hopefully they will notice me and tell thank you silver butterfly bye for now and I thank you for watching me all the best